Today's 4 Deep Sports Talk show is supported by PTU Clinic. Visit ptuclinic.com. Adria's Restaurant and Banquet Facility of East Bridgewater. For more information, their website is adriasrestaurant.net. All right, hello everyone and welcome to 4 Deep Sports Talk here at 1320 AM WARA. We are here with the Archbishop Williams boys basketball team, the 2023 state champions. I'm Kathleen Conley, a.k.a. KC, with Justin Ferreira, a.k.a. the Sportsmaster, and we have Caleb Tremblay. Uh, still have to come up with a nickname for you. <laughs> and Sean Sylvia, he is uh, currently moving out of his college dorm of, for the summer. He goes to URI. All right, so you guys want to introduce yourselves, like what position you played? Hi, I'm Tristan Rodriguez. I play point guard and shooting guard for Archbishop Williams. I'm Josh Campbell. I played small forward and forward for Archbishop Williams. I'm Lorenzo Jackson. I played center and small, um, power forward for Archbishop Williams. Uh, and I'm Brian Holden, the head boys basketball coach at Archbishop Williams. Oh, and I also forgot to mention uh, Josh Campbell here is our 2023 40 Sports Talk Player of the Year for this year. All right, so Justin, do you want to go into your question? Uh, sh- sure. Uh, Josh, what does winning your award mean to you? It means a lot, yeah. Um, Make sure you come close to the mic. It, it means a lot that I won the award after all the hard work, work I put in this year and the dedication I put into my game, and it means a lot, and thank you guys. You're welcome. Thank you. Mm-hmm. All right, I've actually got a question. Uh, this is for all four of you. How did hard work and practice translate to wins? Uh, definitely when we would, in practice, everybody would be locked in and, like, ready to go. So we knew, like, we would just go game by game, and all the hard work really showed. Yeah, I think the hours we put into practice made us really close as a team, and the team camaraderie, like, was really good, which, like – helped us in games when we were in tough moments. We didn't turn on each other, and we worked together, and we overcame it. Um, we worked really hard in practice. We had a lot of game-like situations, I'd feel like. So when it came down to crunch time, we'd be more um, prepared, I would say. And um, our conditioning was also pretty good, you know, just getting up and down the court. Yeah, I think the practice times were, uh, you know, different than years past in the, in the fact that we had such a deep team this year. So the you know the competition in practice was fantastic, which helped us. I think there were times that maybe you know we talk about it that you know make practice harder than games. And when that happens, and you have that skill level and that talent in practice, it's just going to help you out. And that's what happened sometimes this year. All right. So uh, so you guys finished uh, undefeated the season, correct? No, no, we actually ended up nineteen and one. We lost our last game to oh, okay. a very good Mansfield team. Oh, okay. I just I wanted to ask, uh, like, what did what did it take for all of you to like have like the best record for the season? I'd say definitely all staying together, like throughout the whole season. Like we were all like came as one and it just got better and better each game. Yeah, I'd say learning from our mistakes and. Um, being really close as a team and being all really good friends because we went down a lot this season. We were down at 1.16 and we still ended up winning. So it takes a lot to be down that much and to still have the mindset to win the game and to not get down on yourselves and give up even when there's not much time left. We went down a lot and it just it took a lot. But yeah. Yeah, we all had um we had one goal and we wanted to accomplish it and we knew we just had to put it through hard work. We also we hung out a lot outside of um practices and games, so we just all knew each other. Um and I think it just helped us a lot. Yeah, I, you know, they've already mentioned it. I think the camaraderie that these guys had f- right from the very beginning uh you know, was a huge key to our success this year. And you know, they also mentioned the same thing. I mean, to go 24 and 1 to go 19 and one in the regular season is a huge credit to these guys. Um, you know, I didn't think you know to win a state championship's one that's incredible. But to be 24 and one, 
you know, we had games where we were down 13 at St. Mary's, down 15 against Oakmont, you know, down 17 against Burke. And the resiliency that these guys showed throughout the course of the year was just fantastic. And, and this was your, your first state championship for the program, right? Yeah, that's correct. The first state championship uh, for boys basketball in the history of the school. And what did it mean for you guys to win that first championship? It meant a lot, you know, after putting in all the hard work and all the time that we did in practice and after all, like, figuring everything out, like, during the season, it just, like, felt really good for the hard work to pay off. Yeah, it meant a lot to me especially to be able to know that I'm always going to be a part of the school I graduated from, and I think that's really cool. Even when I grow up and I'm older, I'll always know that I'm going to be a part of the history at that school, so it really means a lot. Um, it really means a lot, um, especially for me. Archie's has been like really, um, really kind to me and my family because my school shut down, and they um, accepted me with open arms. And um, just being able to give back, you know, state championship feels really good. You know, I think it's an incredible feat that these guys had. I mean, you're looking at three guys that all transferred in to Archie's for a reason. You know, not just sports, not just basketball, but academics as well. And um, you know what they did was very something special but also you know being an alum and someone that played there and, and someone that works there um to get the first one is something that we're always we'll, we're always going to remember yeah and my next question for you guys is uh when did when did you guys start playing basketball i started playing basketball in second grade and i ever since like i started playing i just loved it I started playing basketball in third grade, and I played for my town team. And I was playing football at the time, but I, after I started playing basketball, I knew I was probably going to stop playing football and just play basketball all year round. Um, I started, like, dibbling and dabbling in basketball first grade um, at the YMCA. There was, like, a league that went on there. Then I was also playing football, so I didn't know which one I wanted to choose. Um, but I really started playing second grade, and um, it's just been basketball and football my whole life. And what about you, Coach? Did you play basketball? I did play. I mean, I, I, mean, I started playing probably around four years old when my, my father was a high school coach. And as soon as I was walking, I was probably, you know, at the court with him during practices. Um, so it's been a long journey with basketball. It's brought me a lot of good places. Yeah. Did he inspire you to, like, become a coach, like, after you stopped playing? Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, throughout my playing career, it's something that I did want to do. And, um, you know, I coached in college for a little bit. And then I was lucky enough to get the job at Archie's, you know, after that. So, um, yeah, it's something that I had aspired to do for a long time. How's it? Um, I, 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 I also actually have a question. Um, how have the three of you players um, grown as a player over the past four years in high school? It's honestly just made me like such like I feel like a better person because ever like it just like keeps you busy like you always can like do like you can always just go to the court go play basketball like it just became like a part of me after over the last four years. Yeah, um, basketball especially has really become a big part of my life life these last four, four years, and just putting every day into something it. It keeps you on the right track, and you know what you want to do for the next four years of your life. And uh, switching to Archie's and being under Coach Holden has made me a better player, definitely. It's improved all of my skills, and it really helped me as a player and as a person. Um, I'd say, like, I'd probably steadily increased over my four years. Um, basketball wasn't, at first, my first sport option, but... Around sophomore year, once I transferred into Archie's, I knew this is the sport I, I, you know, I want to go play. Um, I continued playing football, but there's always something about basketball that kept bringing me back. Um, I think it's also made me a better person um, because, you know, you just you focus. Once you're in basketball season, it's just school and basketball, and you're with these guys pretty much, like, every every day except Saturdays. And um, it, it, um, So I think, uh, yeah, it made me a better person. All right. Um, I also have a question for the three players as well. Do any of you have plans to play college basketball? Yeah, I 100% have plans. I want to play in college. That's, like, the main goal. I think it would be really cool to, like, keep going, like, after high school and, like, just meet more people and stuff like that. It would be fun. Yeah, I'm going to be playing next year at Bridgewater State, 
and I'm excited to start another four years of my life playing basketball. I'm actually really excited to meet new players, new coaches, make new friends. I think it's going to be really fun. Um, I'm going to be attending UMass Dartmouth. I'm going to be trying out for their basketball team. Um, work real hard. Hopefully, I get on the team. And um, is uh, I want. I also like Josh and Tira. I'd say I want to meet new people, new coaches, play new competition. And uh, I think that'd be really good. Justin, you have more questions? Um, yes, uh, uh, Josh. What do you think is the best part of winning your award? Um, I think it's just to be noticed for all of my hard work. You know, you put in all that hard work in the season, not knowing that you're gonna get an award at the end, not knowing that you're gonna win a state championship. It's awesome to win it and look back on it, but it's really hard in the moment to get up out of bed, go outside, put the work in. If you don't know that it's gonna pay off, so it really means a lot to have it pay off. You got another question too? Uh, yeah, uh, wh what do you think it takes to become an award winner? I think it takes a lot of focus and determination to like I said, get out of bed, and it, you have to be consistent to win an award. You can't just have one really good game and win an award. You have to have multiple good games, and for that it takes a lot of practice, and it takes a lot of hard work and patience. So, And it takes a lot to knock it down on yourself if you do have a bad game. It's not over just because you had a bad game. So you have to go back into the gym and do some more hard work. All right, so we have about like 48 seconds left before we take our first break. So, so if you want, if you want to call in, like ask our guests questions about their season, call in at 508-222-1320. That is 508-222-1320. And please subscribe to our YouTube channel, all one word, 4deepsportstalk.com. We are talking with the Archbishop Williams boys basketball team, the 2023 state champions, with Josh Campbell, our 4 Deep Sports Talk 2023 Player of the Year for this year. And again, the, the phone number is 508-222-1320. That is 508-222-1320. We'll be right back right after these messages. A popular destination, Adria boasts a breathtaking panoramic view of nature in all of its glory in each and every season. Upon visiting their 200-seat restaurant, you will see three distinctive areas. The lounge area includes their spacious 26-seat dining bar, high-top tables, and dining tables, all viewing access to seven high-definition televisions and three Kino monitors. A second area set apart from the lounge offers booths and tables to accommodate every member of the family. The third area, a few steps down and separated from the main restaurant by windows, is known as the fairway room. It is surrounded by a wall of windows offering not just a fabulous view, but a feeling of serenity and tranquility. It is a favorite spot for lunch, dinner, and functions. It is a perfect for a romantic dinner, a casual family gathering, business meeting, or any large group for that special occasion. Welcome to Physical Therapy U. I'm Kelly Duggan, doctor of physical therapy and the owner of PTU Clinic. Here at PTU, you're more than a patient and we're more than physical therapy. We offer massage, physical therapy, occupational therapy, personal training, and sport-specific performance training. We treat people and athletes of all ages and all levels of experience. Our beautiful 4,500 square foot facility located at 75 Scotland Boulevard in Bridgewater, Mass. is unlike any clinic you've seen. Our large space, along with our new COVID guidelines, allow us to treat you in the safest way. Your success in meeting your goals is our top priority. Whether you're recovering from a surgery or you're elevating your performance, we are the right clinic for you. Call us at 508-697-2000 or email us at ptuclinic at gmail.com. Check out our website at www.ptuclinic.com. Hi, this is Megan Chase of Jack Conway Real Estate. Jack Conway has been providing top quality real estate professionalism since 1956. I take personal pride to ensure that my clients are happy with the services I provide. It is my job to make sure that you are fully involved and fully informed and have all the information to make the right real estate decisions for you and your family. 
please feel free to reach out to me. I would love to be a resource for you. I can be reached at 774-240-7707 or via email at mchase at jackconway.com. I'm always happy to assist you with your real estate needs. Hey everyone and welcome back to 40 Sports Talk here at 1320 AM WARA. And Tron Peoples is in the house. Hey. What up, what up? Hey, so we are continuing highlighting the 2023 state champion Archbishop Williams boys basketball team with the, oh, there you go. oh, you got, you think, all right, all right, with Josh Campbell, our 2023 Four Deep Sports Talk Player of the Year, and, we got a oh, call. wow, we got a call, all right. Hello, caller, you are first to appear on Four Deep Sports Talk. Who am I speaking with? My name is Elizabeth. Elizabeth, do you have any questions for our guests? Yes, I wanted to know what, what song did you guys listen for in your practices and what did you listen to when you were getting ready? What pumped you guys up? Um, the song that had to pump us up the most, I'd probably say Deuce. Oh, uh, Deuce? Yeah, Deuce. Oh, okay. Yeah, we had some we had some pretty good songs we'd listen to before the games. Um, Deuce was one of them. I mean, we we came out to Boys a Liar on senior night. That was a pretty good one in the locker room. Yeah, I wasn't the one. I wasn't one of the ones that uh, made the playlist. So <laughs> 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 yeah, I I wasn't. I definitely wasn't on the uh, hype train of the Boys a Liar. I was not <laughs> a fan of that. So. Uh, <laughs> He secretly loved it. And everything was clean. So <laughs> yeah, everything was clean. Yeah, everything was clean. Yeah, there was a lot of good songs in that playlist, but yeah, I wasn't really a part of making them. <laughs> uh, what what, a, um, what when you guys played together and you were down a couple of points here there? How did you guys um, rally yourself up as a team? Honestly, just everybody coming together. Like we we all liked each other we were all like got got together very good like we'd hang out a lot like everything just came like together because we were together yeah um we hung out tons and it was really easy to become friends with these people on the team like i it was my first year last year not this year and I instantly clicked with everybody on the team, and it wasn't like I didn't have any trouble with anybody. No one argued, really. If they did, it was usually just jokes or being competitive. But, yeah, we were all really close, which helped us in a lot of situations in game. Yeah, um, I feel like just the amount of times we hung out with each other after practice, whether it just be to go get food or just go watch, like, an NBA game or something like that, like, it would, it would just be nice, well, especially during March Madness. Um, we watched a lot of basketball together, just um, just got to know each other more. And also, like, I've been on the team three years, and I think, what was it, Coach, maybe like five or six other guys? Yep. So around, like, five or six other guys yep. have also been on the team for a while. So just, like, welcoming in Dre, Josh, and Tristan, like, it was really easy for us because we're all in the same grade. Thank you. I thank you for the call. Oh, do you have any more questions? No. All right. I thank you for the call. <laughs> thank you. All right. So, so we got any more more thoughts? Uh, oh, and please call it. Oh, we got another call. Dudes, man. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, caller. You are second to appear on 40 Sports Talk. Who am I speaking with? Cheryl. Hi, Cheryl. Do you have any questions Hi. for our guests? Um, I wanted to know for each person and the coach, what was their favorite moment in a game during the season? My favorite moment was probably the semifinals against Cardinal Spellman, a really good team, when Lorenzo had hit the three-point shot to bring us to the state championship. My favorite moment was definitely the same as Tristan's, especially because I was right under the hoop when the shot went in, and I knew it was going in before I saw it going because I was right there. That uh, was my favorite moment, except for when we stormed Lorenzo and almost hurt him. That was kind of <laughs> oh. that wasn't the best, but yeah. Other than that, that was definitely my favorite moment. Um, 
yeah, I probably have to go with these guys. Um, yeah, my favorite moment was definitely that shot versus um, Cardinal Spellman. Um, that was a great game, great team. But the most thing I loved, the thing I loved about the shot was that those are my only three points of the game. <laughs> so when I hit the, sh it, I was like kind of cold when I shot it, but and I went in and uh, state champs. Uh, do you have any more questions for our guests? Um, did the coach have a favorite moment? Did question. you have a favorite oh, moment, Coach? Oh, I mean, I don't. I can't even pinpoint one. We, I could spend the whole next thirty-five minutes talking about this team and uh, the, I mean, the moments. The, you know, Andre makes a offensive rebound at St. Mary's after a comeback and dishes it to Josh for a last-second win. You know, we are down against Burke by seventeen. We come back and beat them in double overtime. That's a game Josh has fifty. Uh, Tristan goes berserk against Boston Latin Academy and has eight threes and thirty-four points and. I mean, then you get into the tournament and you got, you're down against Oakmont and they come back and they just so, showed so much grit and fire and toughness uh, to win, you know, the quarterfinal game. Then, of course, we have to beat Spellman. Well, let's go back to the first game we beat Spellman. We've been, we beat them by 30 and uh, on their court, and that's our arch rival. You got a lot of respect for that coach, for Coach Perry and, and that program. And then we have to beat them a third time to get, just to get to the state final. And, um, you know, Spellman makes a great comeback. And we make the plays at the end that mattered. Um, and, and obviously, Juju, Juju's pass to um, Lorenzo to make that shot at the buzzer was fantastic. And then obviously, I mean, for me, the best feeling was winning the state championship, you know, against another rival, St. Mary's, who, who was the defending state champs. Just an overall fantastic year. Wow. All right. Do you have any more questions? I told you I could keep no, going. thank you. That was great. I right, thank you for calling in. Wow, that's that's crazy. I got some questions. I know I got some questions. I just heard fifty. That's 50. all I heard. Fifty, 50. points. Fifty. Josh Campbell. Josh. 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 Fifty. Yeah. Man, I didn't know that when you won the award. Fifty. <laughs> man, like, oh, I, I just want to know fifty points. Okay, that that's that's a lot. That's a lot, man. I did. Did you feel like Kobe? Did you feel like Michael? Did you feel like LeBron? Did you feel like somebody? Yeah, I I felt special. Yeah, man. I, shit. <laughs> Excuse my. Ooh, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> For these what I think. Hey, um, uh, my goodness, man. Fifty points. Yeah. What? What? When did you get in the zone? Cause you had to be in something. Oh, me and Tristan that game. When Tristan had twenty eight that game. Oh, and I had wow. fifty. So yep. we combined for seventy eight. Yep. And wow. I think, Tristan, you had 20 in the first half, and I had 14. So did you leave any for Lorenzo? <laughs> 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 he cleaned I, up the glass. I, I struggled a little bit the yeah. first half of that game. <laughs> yeah, so I, I know, man, uh, plenty of times, if you're an athlete, um, man, sometimes you get in that zone. Mm -hmm. Was that w Were you in the zone? I think, yeah, by overtime. We had two overtimes that game. By so, overtime, I okay. was in the zone. I, had, mm -hmm. I think I had 22 in the overtime. Absolutely. Yeah. 22 in the overtime. And two, yeah, two we had two overtimes. Overtime. Yeah. So eight minutes. I was going to say, 22. what is it, five or eight? Okay. It's four minutes per overtime. Four minutes. So eight minutes, I had 22. 20, so man, you, and I had zero threes that game. Yep. So, Z yeah, zero? that was all twos. So you was going to the rack. Yeah. yeah. You was putting the ball in the basket. Yep. So, I mean – I know some. I was in a zone in baseball once before. It seemed mm -hmm. like I couldn't throw balls. I was just throwing strikes, strikes, yeah. strikes, and nobody could hit it. And I'm like, man, well, I'm just. I, it's just, how did you feel, man? How, yeah, I what, felt like if I was going to the hoop, it was going in. It if was, it didn't go in, I was getting the rebound and it was right. going in. And you know, they like it, it seemed like. Did it seem like everybody was like moving slower than you? And it felt like they were getting out of my way. It felt like they didn't right. want to. Yeah. Just take the basket. Yeah. Just take the basket. And, and what was you all feeling when he was in that in that in that moment, um, Lorenzo? Um, yeah, um, I I knew he was in a, in his zone like probably the third quarter. I knew we were yeah. probably gonna it was gonna be a good game down the stretch, and right. I was like, let me just give this guy the ball, um, yeah. get the rebound, look up. It was either G out or I mean Tristan or Josh that was up there, I'd just kick it up to them, right. get an offensive rebound, look up fake pass right to them. And yeah. It was just they both of them were having an insane game. They just couldn't miss, huh? They couldn't miss. Tristan. I, I thought I was in the zone, but this kid was something else. Yeah, you was in one too, though, yeah, right? 28 points. That's wanted. not light. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's not light, man. No, I was just honestly just had to get him the ball. It was, right. He was just taking over. And, and that was against who? Who was that against? Um, the Berg. The Berg. Yeah. The Berg. Yeah. yeah. A really Berg. good team. Who, yeah, I mean, they're, they're Division Four, but they're tough. I mean, tough and they won a state right. championship a couple years ago. Right. But these guys, like Tristan Sebi, 
Tristan went nuts. He went crazy in the first half. Had twenty. Okay. And then it, and they play a different kind of zone, mm-hmm. and they really try to spread out. And they I think they really try to take Tristan away and our perimeter guys away. Right. What they did was kind of let us even let these guys and especially Josh get to work. You know, down low. Right. And he went to work. I tell what, you. What zone were they running on? You? They more. Three, it's, two, it's, it's, no, they, they they do something different. They even call it an, an amoeba. You know, back amoeba. like amoeba. Well, like UNLV used to do it back in the old days with okay. Jerry Tarkanian. Talk to the coach. And, and they and they go and they are athletic. They're tough. They run it. They block shots. They go for steals. And uh, we did a great job getting the ball inside to him. And he did a even better job finishing around the basket. Absolutely, yeah. man. Congratulations, man. That's what's up. You always have those games when you um, win a championship. It's always those luck games, mm-hmm. and it's always those games where you just. You know, hey man, we we got this. Yeah. We we the, oh, the, yeah. the, you know the basket look like the ocean. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Just throw it up, it's gonna go it's, in. Uh, especially in that game, and I think those St. Mary's games. I don't know what it is. Like you were saying, it's in the zone. Yeah, it's not quite that. It's a feeling. Like we were yeah. down seventeen, mm. but I knew we can we can win this game. Like yeah. it wasn't it wasn't over. And we were coming back. We were down like we were still down the fourth. Yeah, but I wasn't like worried. I was like, we have like we have this game. Absolutely. Like we can do this. Absolutely, it, it's kind of like. They, man, they can't check us. We just ain't making the shots yeah, right yeah, now. Yeah, like it's it's going to come. Drop it. yeah, they coming. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, man. That's what's up, man. Congratulations, you guys, man. That's what's up. Thank you. Champions, Thank you. man. Champions. Feel good, doesn't it? Yeah, feels good. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. Um, all right, so anyone want to call in, like, ask more questions for our guests? So it's 508-222-1320. That's 508-222-1320. Uh, I wanted to ask you, Josh, uh, you had a 50-point performance against Burke and a 34-point game against St. Mary's. I want to know, did you have a confidence boost, almost like you were, like, pumped up? Yeah, um, I definitely did, especially when, like, during halftime, like, I knew that what I was doing was working and I could just keep doing it. And I also had a I had a forty four point game. What, who was that again? Against Weymouth. 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 That. Yeah. Wow. Forty four. Forty four. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so at halftime, when I'm there and I know what I'm doing is working, and I know if they do something like if they collapse the defense on me, I'm gonna have Tristan open. It's just a huge confidence boost. And then the next game, I try not to think about it though. Like I try to think like I had a really good game last game, but all that means is that they're, they're going to be coming at me harder. So I can't be selfish and go to try to shoot every shot because then that's just going to hurt the team. So I try to forget about it after. I, I mean, after the game that night, you know, I'm in the moment. I'm like, yeah, it was a great game. I was awesome. Then the next practice, the next day, I'm trying to like. All right, now I have to keep working so I can have another game like that. I can't just be like, yeah, all right, I'm like that. I can shoot every shot because it's, it's not going to work if I do that. All right, so we are going to take our second break. You are listening to 40 Sports Talk on 1320 AM WARA. We are continuing highlighting the Archbishop Williams 2023 state champion boys basketball team. We'll be right back with more right after these messages. A popular destination, Adria boasts a breathtaking panoramic view of nature in all of its glory in each and every season. Upon visiting their 200-seat restaurant, you will see three distinctive areas. The lounge area includes their spacious 26-seat dining bar, high-top tables, and dining tables, all viewing access to seven high-definition televisions and three Kino monitors. A second area set apart from the lounge offers booths and tables to accommodate every member of the family. The third area, a few steps down and separated from the main restaurant by windows, is known as the fairway room. It is surrounded by a wall of windows offering not just a fabulous view, but a feeling of serenity and tranquility. It is a favorite spot for lunch, dinner, and functions. It is a perfect for a romantic dinner, a casual family gathering, business meeting, or any large group for that special occasion. Welcome to Physical Therapy U. I'm Kelly Duggan, Doctor of Physical Therapy and the owner of PTU Clinic. Here at PTU, you're more than a patient and we're more than physical therapy. We offer massage, physical therapy, occupational therapy, personal training, and sport-specific performance training. We treat people and athletes of all ages and all levels of experience. Our beautiful 4,500 square foot facility located at 75 Scotland Boulevard in Bridgewater, Mass. is unlike any clinic you've seen. 
Our large space, along with our new COVID guidelines, allow us to treat you in the safest way. Your success in meeting your goals is our top priority. Whether you're recovering from a surgery or you're elevating your performance, we are the right clinic for you. Call us at 508-697-2000 or email us at ptuclinic at gmail.com. Check out our website at www.ptuclinic.com. Hi, this is Megan Chase of Jack Conway Real Estate. Jack Conway has been providing top quality real estate professionalism since 1956. I take personal pride to ensure that my clients are happy with the services I provide. It is my job to make sure that you are fully involved and fully informed and have all the information to make the right real estate decisions for you and your family. Please feel free to reach out to me. I would love to be a resource for you. I can be reached at 774-240-7707 or via email at mchase at jackconway.com. I'm always happy to assist you with your real estate needs. Hello everyone and welcome to welcome back to 4 Deep Sports Talk here at 1320 AM WARA. We are continuing highlighting the 2023 state champion boys basketball team of Archbishop Williams. <laughs> All right, so you got any more questions, uh, Antron? Yeah, man, we can have a good conversation. We oh, can yeah. talk all day there. Yeah, I, definitely. I got questions and I got conversations. You guys got anything to say? Uh, sure. Um, who is your inspiration as far as basketball players go, like pro players? I'd say a hot take. I like Ben Simmons a lot. Okay. I like him. I don't know why. I think he's really good. Yeah. Plays the same way as like I do, kind of. But like, just can't shoot as good. <laughs> <laughs> Six, is he Sixers? Sixers? No, nah, he's, he's on the, on the Nets. 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 Wasn't he on the Sixers? He was yeah, on the Sixers, yeah, and he, he got was. traded. He just traded him, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he was. I don't think he was playing up his capability, man. No. Yeah, that's what I yeah. mean. He had a lot of potential. Absolutely. My favorite player and the first ever player that I knew was Russell Westbrook. So mm-hmm. I think that explains mm-hmm. a lot about my game. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, whenever I was playing my brother in 2K, it's yeah. the only player I would use. I'd never <laughs> yeah. pass the ball. Yeah, yeah. That, was, that was my favorite player. I just liked how, because yeah. that was in 2016. Right. Okay. Like, that was, like, when I, like, was really a big fan of him. Right. And he would just drive the hoop and just jump over everybody. Right. And I was, I loved watching that. So, right. Right. I you said he never like passed the ball. Is that what you said? Nah, when I, when I played as him in, oh. in 2K, okay. I never <laughs> I said, hold up. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. Everybody nah. get 30s and he can, 40s. He can pass. He can okay, pass. okay. Yeah. <laughs> he averaged, like, a triple-double. Right. <laughs> he yeah, yeah, right. The ball. For sure. Yeah. For sure. So. Um, my, my inspiration, my, my, also, my favorite player is KD, but mm. my inspiration is Draymond Green mm. because I like the way like he kind of he's like he runs the Warriors like he doesn't score as much, but he plays really great defense. He passes, he gets rebounds, mm. and like I'd say like I kind of try to model my game after him. Right. Like if I know Josh, Tristan, Juju, or Dre, I will like kind of figure when they're having their games, and like I'll try to get them the ball the most. Right. Right. You get a lot of flack for that, like Jay Green. I don't like Jay Green. That's just nah, me. That's but fair I, enough. I don't yeah. like him, but I like him. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, I like him as too. a pl- I like him as a player. Yeah. Him, his, him and his personality. Like I don't right. want to be doing what he does on the court. Like yeah, all those yeah. flagrants. Absolutely. I don't do that. But um, I, I do play hard, and I like try yeah. to drive my team. Right. right. Well, in my opinion about Draymond Green is like. He plays dirty a lot. <laughs> yeah, but Not is it like, dirty? Is it really dirty, or is it just hard? Just, just yeah. Fig- he plays hard. It, it was, uh, it was, uh, it was figuratively. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, I, I agree with you. I, I'm, yeah. I'm on the same page, you know. But uh, you know, I really don't know Draymond. Right. But mm-hmm. his his gameplay really says a lot about him, and he's a. I think he's a hard player, yeah. man, mm-hmm. and, and you know. Yeah. I, I think if he's, I think if he's on your team, you'll love him. You'll love yeah. him. If he's yeah. not yeah. on your yeah. team, you don't want to play. Him. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> I would, I would feel differently about Draymond if he was on he your was, team. Right. He yeah. was on the Celtics. Celtics. Right. Yeah. We <laughs> right. love him, oh, right? We love that. <laughs> kind of like um, what, 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 what's smart, smart, smart or yeah. or, yeah. or either uh, uh, yeah. Play with LeBron, Cleveland. Yeah. What's his name? Nobody likes him. Oh, Tristan Thompson? Nope. Kyrie. Uh, Kyrie. 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 I like him. Nobody oh. like Kyrie. Uh, nope. he's very I lost yeah. respect for Kyrie. Yeah. Yeah. I think a, a lot of us in this room <laughs> lost respect for Kyrie. Yeah. yeah. You know. Yeah, so I actually wanted to know what were your team rituals for the season? Uh, some of our team rituals, I'd say just having pasta parties, like hanging out as much as possible, oh. like as we can during the season. 
like stuff like that? Yeah, I'd say like team dinners um, with the team. I think that was a that was a really fun thing we did, and that was just brought us together as a team. So, and we try to like lock in before games. Like we joke around, but then <laughs> by halftime of JV, we try to like lock in and try to be serious. And some kids would struggle a lot, <laughs> like a lot oh. every game. But yeah, we just try to lock in and. I think that helped a lot too to starting off games strong. Yeah, I think like uh, we like went to our friend, our teammate Saul's house. Um, you know, we'd always just go in his basement, um, eat pizza, pasta, all that stuff. I think for one of the last ones, it was like it was like what wings and pizza, something yeah, like, like that. Crumble cookies. Yeah, crumble cookies. <laughs> oh. So yeah, um, I'd say that was one of my favorites. But another favorite was definitely like locking in before games, like. We we all like listen on our headphones sometimes. I don't I don't like listening to music. I like just looking out the window. So it's um it probably one of between the two. It's probably Saul's house. Yeah. So we actually have a call. And hello, you are next to appear on Four Deep Sports Talk. Who am I speaking with? You're speaking to Mercedes Garcia. I am Lorenzo's mom. Uh, Lorenzo's mom. Uh, do you have any questions for the team? No, that's my aunt. <laughs> oh, oh, your aunt. Auntie. Yes. Do you yes, have I any questions? Question. I wanted to know what was that feeling like to win that championship the first time? Honestly, it was crazy. Like after all the hard work and dedication that we put into the season, and to do it with these guys, and like really give back to the seniors for what they've done to us, like as giving them a state championship, then like it's like it just feels really good. Like especially with the guys that like you love, like your brothers, you get closer with them each day. Like I don't know, it just felt amazing, honestly. Yeah, it was actually unbelievable when we finally when we won the game. Um, I was so into the game that I didn't realize we won when we won. I got the rebound because I hadn't been looking at the clock because it was a long possession of them missing shots and keep getting the rebound. Then there was a block (laughs) and then the shot again. I got the rebound and I went to go pass it to Lorenzo and he was running away (laughs) (laughs) like with his hands up. And I'm like, what is he doing? And I passed the ball and it was going out of bounds. And I was like panicking. I was like, no way. We just turned over the ball. And then the buzzer went off and we won. And I was just like, what? Because yeah. I hadn't been looking at the clock for like 30 right. seconds. But yeah, and then wow. it just felt great. It was. Yeah, no, and I realized why Lorenzo was running away. Yeah. <laughs> I, couldn't, I, couldn't. I was like, what's going on? And then we won, and it was a fantastic feeling. Yeah, um, it, was a, it was a great feeling. Um, we, like Josh said, like he passed me the ball, and I just jumped up in the air because um, I knew we won. It was probably easily the best, uh, easily the best moment of my life. Yeah, I mean, just watching these guys celebrate was just, to me, incredible. And, you know, we had right. we had probably three celebrations. Our, the quarterfinal game where we came back and we won and then beating Spellman at the buzzer to what? I mean, I just, you know, people are like, oh, you, you remain so calm and cool after the game. Like, I just wanted to watch my guys celebrate because they deserved every second of it. And then finally, you know, again, winning the state championship and watching their celebration or watching them, you know, go into the stands and be with our fans and our administration was something that, uh, you know, the, I'm sure they'll cherish forever and something I'll never forget. Awesome. awesome. I, w- I just want to say congratulations again to you guys. Thank, Thank, you. Thank you very much. Right, thanks for the call. Yeah. Thank you. That's, All that's right, awesome. So. That's awesome. That's so awesome. I, th- I thought we had, like, another call, but I think I accidentally, like, like cut the call for a while. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All call right. Back. So, yeah, they'll yeah. call back. So my next question for you guys is, um, who would you say is your biggest motivation? My biggest motivation, I honestly this year, I would have said my seniors because they kept me going every single day. The captain did a great job. Jack, Lorenzo, and Josh all kept us going. Even coach, he would motivate us through the season, make sure we were ready every single game, every single practice to get ready and get working. Yeah, I'd say I had a lot of motivation between AAU coaches, Coach Holden, my teammates, my friends, family. My brother would always talk to me before games. My friends would text me before games, like, lock in, you got this, bro. Especially before the championship games and all the playoff games. I just had a lot of motivation and a lot of people behind me. And I think that helped a lot, too. I think it helped everyone because everyone had motivation and everyone wanted to win. 
and they had reasons to win, people to win for. So I think that helped us all. Um, yeah. Um, I also had a lot of motivation, like whether it be from my father, um, me wanting just to play basketball, um, friends and family. Like, I think my biggest motivation was like, I want to try as hard as I can so I can play college basketball. I think that was a big motivation for me. Coach Holden, um, at every practice, we had a game plan. We stuck to it and we got us where we needed to be. All right, so we I we actually have another call. Hello, caller. So, You're next to appear on 40 Sports Talk. Who am I speaking with? Hi, this is Jen, Evelyn, and Juliet. Hi, uh, do you have any questions for our guests? Yes, we do. We were wondering um, what life lessons basketball has taught you. Honestly, some life lessons it's taught me is to always be prepared and always be ready for somebody to come like want to like beat you in like bass like beat you in the sport and like want to beat like have like drive to beat you and stuff like that uh one really big life lessons basketball has taught me is to knock it down on yourself even when stuff's not going your way and just because you had like one bad streak like in basketball whether it be shots or like turnovers or something it's not over and you don't have to get down on yourself because then it'll continue to be bad. So I feel like that helped with my mindset in life to just like not get down on myself and not let one thing ruin my day just because something went wrong and to just keep pushing forward. Um, I would say teamwork. Teamwork and leadership is probably something that I've learned a lot um, from basketball. You know, trying to get to know like, maybe like if you're in an office setting, getting to know your coworkers, seeing what like helps them have like a better day, like kind of like me me on the court, like what makes like my teammate have a better game, like what can I do for my teammates to, um, to have a good game. Um, leadership as well, um, I was a captain for both football and basketball this season, and I think it's um, gotten like, like it's just taught me a lot, like how to get to read the room yeah, and get to know the people around you. Uh, do, do you have any more questions? Oh, yes, one more question. Um, how your mother has influenced your basketball career? Just to push me more and more, honestly, like to go every single day, like wake up, like get to work and stuff like that. My mom's done tons for my basketball career. She's driven me into every practice, every game, AAU games. We travel across the country, and she's always there videotaping, sending it to family. And she's a huge motivation for me to play in college. And she's got me tons of connections for AAU because she knows tons of people. So she's been a great help for my basketball career. Um, my mom, uh, there's a lot about my mom um, for uh, basketball. She's always at every game. So, um, all the fans can hear her. Everyone <laughs> can hear her. She's, she's going to be screaming out defense. She's going to be coaching us up from the stands. Um, whether that just be high school, um, even with just my friends, like playing outside in the garage, I mean in the driveway, like she'll always just be um, yelling out, play defense, get your hands up. Um, so my mom, and she's learned a lot of basketball through the years, so now her terminology is like real. And it's like kind of having an assistant coach in the stands. Do you have any more questions? No. Okay, thank you for the call. Thank you, and if we can just That's give awesome. a shout-out to Josh Campbell from Evelyn. Awesome. Oh, they want to give you a shout-out, Josh. Thank you. He says thank you. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you. Have a good day. Shout-out to Josh. Yeah. Our, go ahead. Go ahead. All right, we actually have to take our last break. Okay. So when we come back, Justin and Caleb will read the winners of baseball and softball. We'll be right back with more right after these messages. A popular destination, Adria boasts a breathtaking panoramic view of nature in all of its glory in each and every season. Upon visiting their 200 seat restaurant, you will see three distinctive areas. The lounge area includes their spacious 26 seat dining bar, high top tables, and dining tables, all viewing access to seven high definition televisions and three Kino monitors. A second area set apart from the lounge offers booths and tables to accommodate every member of the family. 
The third area, a few steps down and separated from the main restaurant by windows, is known as the fairway room. It is surrounded by a wall of windows offering not just a fabulous view, but a feeling of serenity and tranquility. It is a favorite spot for lunch, dinner, and functions. It is a perfect for a romantic dinner, a casual family gathering, business meeting, or any large group for that special occasion. Welcome to Physical Therapy U. I'm Kelly Duggan, Doctor of Physical Therapy and the owner of PTU Clinic. Here at PTU, you're more than a patient and we're more than physical therapy. We offer massage, physical therapy, occupational therapy, personal training, and sport-specific performance training. We treat people and athletes of all ages and all levels of experience. Our beautiful 4,500 square foot facility located at 75 Scotland Boulevard in Bridgewater, Mass. is unlike any clinic you've seen. Our large space along with our new COVID guidelines allow us to treat you in the safest way. Your success in meeting your goals is our top priority. Whether you're recovering from a surgery or you're elevating your performance, we are the right clinic for you. Call us at 508-697-2000 or email us at ptuclinic at gmail.com. Check out our website at www.ptuclinic.com. Hi, this is Megan Chase of Jack Conway Real Estate. Jack Conway has been providing top quality real estate professionalism since 1956. I take personal pride to ensure that my clients are happy with the services I provide. It is my job to make sure that you are fully involved and fully informed and have all the information to make the right real estate decisions for you and your family. Please feel free to reach out to me. I would love to be a resource for you. I can be reached at 774-240-7707 or via email at mchase at jackconway.com. I'm always happy to assist you with your real estate needs. Hey, hey everyone, and welcome back to 40 Sports Talk here at 1320 AM WARA. Before we continue highlighting our 2023 champion Archbishop Williams boys <coughs> basketball team, Justin and Caleb will read the winners of from Friday night. Okay, so Caleb here um, covering softball's past week wins. Um, from the Bay State Division, Weymouth and Bishop Feenan. From Cape and Islands, Monomoy and Dennis Yarmouth. From Catholic C Central, Bishop Fenwick, Arlington Catholic, and Archbishop Williams. From the Hockamock League, Taunton, North Attleboro, Foxborough, Stoughton, and Oliver Ames. Uh, from the Patriot League, um, Silver Lake, Weymouth, Hingham, and Norwell. From the South Coast League, Joseph Case and Dighton Rehoboth. From the South Shore, Abington. Uh, from the Southeast, Latin Academy. Last but not least, from Tri Valley, Bellingham, and Holliston. Okay, for, for b baseball in Capes and Islands, Sandwich and Monomoy at 4.30 today, Nauset versus Dennis Yarmouth. At 4 today, Rising Tide Charter versus Sturgis West. In Catholic Central, Bishop Stang and Schwazin in, in Hockamock. Franklin, Mansfield, Milford, and Canton. Uh, in in Mayflower at 3.30 today, Norfolk Aggie versus South Shore Vog Tech. In Patriot, Lion Academy. In so South Coast, Fairhaven and Seekonk at 3.45, Wareham versus Diane Rehoboth. In South Shore, East Bridgewater, Cohasset, and Mashpee. In Southeastern at 6 p.m., Dartmouth versus New Bedford, and in Tri Valley, Holliston, Norwood, and Norton. All right, awesome job. So that is the winners of baseball and softball from Friday night. All right, so my my last question for you for you guys is: so you guys mentioned your favorite NBA players. Ben Simmons, uh, who else? Russell oh, Russell, Russell Westbrook and, mm -hmm. and Kevin Durant. Uh, yeah. Are they your favorite NBA players? And why would you say that they're your favorite? Like, what do you like about their games? Uh, I like how Ben Simmons is like a big guard. Like, I like how he's like a six, like 
seven point guard like you can't you don't really see that a lot besides like magic johnson and stuff so like i just really thought that was cool i like how westbrook is just super high energy especially in his prime you just get the crowd super hype on like a really like rough dunk and i like how he just like just drove at people no matter who was in the paint and would just jump over him like he wasn't scared of everybody or anybody well about kd i'm i'm we kind of have similar builds in a sense. I mean, he's seven foot something, but we both are pretty long. I just like the way his ball handle, his ability, you know, cross, cross, get to the elbow. Like, he can just get to his spots and get a shot up anytime he wants. What about you, Coach? Do you have a favorite NBA player? I mean, I grew up in the 80s, right? So, Larry Bird. I mean, it's just a na- – it's just I'm a, I'm a <laughs> – I mean, I'm a Boston guy. It's a natural fit. You grow up around basketball. And honestly, I, I curse him sometimes because – you know, I think I fell in love basketball, with basketball and, and stopped playing baseball because of Larry a little. You know, <laughs> but, uh, you know winning those championships and, uh, you know, him and Mikhail and all those guys was uh, – so, yeah, he was my fa- – he's de- definitely my favorite player. Right. You all like right. to pitch for yourself, Coach. Were you a pitcher? Pitcher, shortstop. I, I think I would end up at first base. Now, yeah, you know. that's where I would. Yeah, yeah. First yeah. Base. yeah. So. yeah, yeah. All right, so we're here. We have, like, about four minutes left before we have to go, so I wanted to – I wanted to ask, like, if you guys could, like, give, like, shout-outs to your, like, like family, friends, or whoever. Shout-out to my sister and my dad for both helping me out every day, getting me everywhere for basketball and stuff. Honestly, a big help. Yeah, shout-out to my mom for driving me everywhere and my brother for being big support. Um, Shout-out to my mom and dad. Um, they usually... If not, if they're both not at the game, one of them's at the game, um, driving me around all these years and shout out my little sister. Um, Cause I, when she's in the um, stands, I know I play a little better when she's there. Um, also shout out the rest of our team. That's not here. Um, yeah. I'll name them all. Uh, Saul, Conroy, um, B. Foss, Juju, Charlie, oh, yeah. Dre, Dre, Dre um, Oh. Full and Swift, Seth. Sean Conroy. Don't give anybody Nate Pelton. Coach Curley. Oh, and, and the rest oh, of the okay. team on the roster. Yeah. The, mm-hmm. Who's. Yeah, they, they're on, all there. They're all 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 right. right. Can't blame it. Don't blame it on their heart. Don't blame it on their heart. They mean a lot. They mean well. Yeah. They yeah. Get you, you know. Blame it on their mind. I want to say shout out to Coach and shout out to. Players, Justin, I mean, jo- wait, sorry, Josh, Tristan, and Lorenzo, man. Hey, um, to your parents, you all have raised some wonderful young men uh, from what I see here. Um, congratulations to you guys, man, and, and to your further um, endeavors of what, what's going on. I want to know what coach think of these three young men sitting here that I'm looking at um, that's becoming men in their lives. One word that, that you could – characterize these two young men as well, one say, word. Well, I want to say fortunate because I'm fortunate that I met them. Uh, I'm fortunate that I was, I was lucky enough to, to coach all of them. Uh, not one of them started out at Archie's uh, and they all transferred in. Um, so I'm very lucky. But, you know, the position I'm in, you know, being at Archie's is a fact that I'm able to, you know, I'm able to t- uh, coach really good kids. Mm. So, uh, but again, uh, you know, for me, they're just great kids. Great kids. All right, so we have another phone call. Uh, hello, caller. You are next to appear on 40 Sports Talk. Who am I speaking with? Uh, my name is Wayne. I'm a friend of Josh Campbell's. All right, do you have... I've been around, yeah, I've do been you around have... Josh since before he was born. I just want to know what is his biggest influence growing up. Who was his biggest influence? Who was your biggest influence growing up, Josh? Uh... My biggest influence for basketball, I think, was my brother Devin because I didn't know what basketball was until my brother Devin was playing outside. So I think he was definitely my biggest influence there. And he also influenced me playing football because I always followed him, and if he thought something was cool, I was going to be playing it. So when I would go outside and I'd play against Devin and he would absolutely destroy me because he's three years older than me, I think that made me a better basketball player when I played against kids my age. So I think not only was he a big influence, but he was a big reason why I'm good at basketball and I'm competitive 
because he wouldn't take it easy on me just because I'm his younger bro brother, and I don't think I've ever beat him to this day. <laughs> but that's only because he won't play me anymore because he knows I'll win. You win. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly why. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, do you have any other questions? Now, I'm so proud of you, Josh. You've come a long way. You know, um, I hope, you know, the sky's the limit with you, man. Just put God first, and you got the great support system around you. Love you, man. Thank you. That means a lot. No problem. And do you have any more questions? Nah, that's it. I just want to know. I knew who his biggest influence. I just want to see if he was going to say his brother. Because I remember when they used to go at it and give him the business. Mm -hmm. And then years later, he shoots up from five something, six something, and I'm sure he'll never know want to play basketball with him no more. <laughs> All right. So thank you for the call and have no a good problem. day. You too. All right, so we actually have to get off get off the air. So you are listening to WARA 1320 AM, 40 Sports Talk with Catherine Conley, a.k.a. KC, with Justin Ferreira, Caleb Tremley, and Antron Peebles, and the rest of the 40 Sports Talk crew. We will see you next time, and happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. Today's 40 Sports Talk show is supported by PTU Clinic. Visit ptuclinic.com. Adria's Restaurant and Banquet Facility of East Bridgewater. For more information, their website is adriasrestaurant.net.